Hi, it's the 19th, and here we have a couple of two great big word concept thingy. You got reincarnate up there, and reincarnation, put that in parenthetical, big reincarnation, and race. Now, in the New Testament, I can't remember which gospel, the Pharisees asked Jesus Christ walking earth as a human. Uh, hey, um, are you Ezekiel? I'll take that as they believed in reincarnation back then, too. I think it's pretty obvious. Without being too hey, hey, annoying ones about it, they, they believe in that. Hey, hey. Okay, anyway. Reincarnation and race. I think reincarnation and race has a lot to do with racism. People see somebody else and they look stupid and unhappy and gross and mean. And then something bad happens to them. Maybe in a previous lifetime from them like that thousand-year-old war that happened in Europe when Africa invaded Europe. Different kinds, of, and it had to do with Islam. That's still in people. Okay, that's still, that war still affects people. It was a big deal. So, in minutia, some people, I mean, the whole idea that, oh, I don't know, there's one kind of white folks that can tell each other apart and stuff. I don't know matter how many white supremacists really think Vladimir Putin is their ideal guy. I throw that out at him. It's like, well, is because if he's not white, what, what is he? You know, it's okay. Um, the list goes on and on. I know what it is when people want to hold on to what they have and they're afraid they'll lose it or have it swamped by another thing. So something that's too cool is cold and sickening. Something that's too hot is uncomfortable and unfocused. And so both cultural reincarnational patterns a person reincarnated in one group may not fit in and thought they might it's a vast vast realm but it's not unfathomable you've got basic you got a soul let's call it the red one say you got a race of people you've got a particular family in that race you get the soul reincarnated with that family. So a person, we can look at a family, we can look at a pink pointer, we can use it, see a family, we can see a group of people of a race, we can see a race, and we can see a soul. Now you take those variables alone and then you have a time and space of when it happened, a now. Those variables alone should be taken into consideration any time anyone evaluates themselves or anybody else when it comes to this huge element of life on planet Earth. And with some understanding and on a moment-by-moment -moment basis, this study can be fun, just like chemistry. But you throw the chemistry set into the swimming pool and make everybody take a drink and say that now they're experts because it doesn't work or whatever. Well, it's never going to be very much fun except for those who like to see things screwed up so they can stay on top. 